let's see if we get live. I think this stopping a fight. Oh, okay, I'm going to stop talking. Okay. No problem. We are live. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. We have been gassing away here. We've probably actually done the whole interview without getting live. <laughs> so I am joined today with the amazing, we've decided we love the word amazing, Alicia Lay. Am I saying it the right way, Alicia? Uh, yeah, lie, but it's fine. <laughs> Alicia Lie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So everyone, I have put her company name um, links in to this interview. If you're watching on Facebook, then it is here below. And if you're watching it later on on YouTube, then don't forget to find her on Instagram. She's got a beautiful account and definitely subscribe to that and join her. So Alicia is with us from London. She's actually Australian in origin and apparently was backpacking around the world with her partner, ended up in the UK all of 21 years ago in the millennium 2000 and ended up staying there. And she has since launched a vegan footwear brand um, called Bobohem. Am I saying that right? Bobohem, but that's fine. everything. Anyway, potato, potatoes, I'm like, Saying that's everything right. in the wrong way. <laughs> and then, um, and uh, which is now looking for more funding. So guys, do go and check her site. She has lots and lots of followers. And if you know anyone who wants to get involved with this amazing entrepreneurial idea, then this is it. So Alicia Moore, please tell us a little bit more about your story. I've given a nice intro now to everyone. Okay. And we want to hear more. All right. Well, thank you, first of all, Farah, for having me today. Um, so I suppose... I am vegan, obviously, and um, how I'm long have straight... you been vegan? Uh, I've been vegan about 16 years, and I was vegetarian for a few more before that. I won't tell you how many; it'll give away my age. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so my background is podiatry, so I'm actually a podiatrist, and then I did a master's in public health, and I always wanted to go and work in NGOs, you know, in developing countries, um, you know, but, but we came backpacking here and ended up in London and I was vegan and I couldn't find any, you know, products that I liked. So I thought, well, let's start a company really. So that, that's how it started uh, all those years ago. We started off as a marketplace first of different uh, products. And then people were saying, oh, you know, we'd like some shoes and we'd like some belts and purses and all sorts of different things. So, you know, I went to trade shows and visited factories and sourced, um, you know, partners that we could work with and, and launch the brand. So um, it's amazing. a while ago. Yeah. And, and what are you working with? Because we've had some amazing vegan brands actually on Cook Vegan. Ah, amazing. Um, yeah, we've had um, May on, which is a Portuguese ah, company. Yes, yes. Yeah, we've had um, uh, Immaculate Vegan. Okay course has worked with we've had Sasha Camille as well come in and talk to us about sustainable living um and also the other brand that um I think they didn't come on but we did mention them was um Beyond Skin as oh well. yes 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 but it's so interesting to know there's so many different types of um vegan leather out there let alone other vegan material so what's your favorite and what or what what have you worked with more? Um, yeah, you know, I suppose for our business, at the heart of the business has always been about sustainable, sustainable and innovative materials, really, right from day one. So I've even got a shoe here. Oh, lovely. <laughs> So when you look at, yeah, here's a beautiful shoe to oh, be nice. um, sampled. Now it sort of looks uh, and feels like leather, but this is actually material that's made from the food waste of the apple industry. So yes, this is I was going to say if it's apple. Yeah, so this is apple skin. Um, and then, you know, we've got recycled, these, this, these heels are made out of recycled wood from our factories. Um, and then we've got sort of this shoe here, and this is um, Pinatex, which is pineapple leaf fiber. So it's yeah. made from the waste of the pineapple industry together with cork together with sort of faux suede that are made out of totally mm -hmm. recycled materials so you know the innovations in fabric you know for alternatives to leather are amazing these days you know i mean i don't know if you read in the media that all birds have just uh, which is the big american shoe brand you know have just invested into material innovations in regards to looking at a pure plant-based material there's uh mushroom amazing. skin and also um, aldo we had aldo on which obviously is a huge brand yes and they've got um i didn't realize they can't contacted me and I was like oh I, I didn't know um they've got call it spring which is an offshoot of their main Aldo brand that right. is completely vegan 
Yeah, yeah. The, so there are, I mean, it's amazing. There are more and more brands and more and more mainstream um, coming on to the market with vegan shoes, which is amazing. But I think, you know, sometimes we've got to be a little bit wary of what the materials are being made out of. Uh, you know, some, you know, obviously vegan leathers aren't perfect, but there are better than others out there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's great to see the innovations that are happening and brands are understanding this. And, and I think for me, you know, vegan footwear is the future. <laughs> And uh, being biased here um, and you know and also too I suppose as a brand you know we're also looking at circular economy and um, and how we can make you know fashion is considered the second most polluting industry in the world you know and leather has its issues in regards to sustainability what you know with the way it's treated etc um, and therefore for our circular economy is very important which is why when we're looking at producing our footwear we're using the most innovative and recycled biodegradable materials but also too we're looking at the end life of the shoe and you know we have partners in Portugal where we produce uh, where we can hopefully sort of take our footwear grind it down and they make it into soles so it's mm. very important for us to be able to look at that whole cycle of what's happening with our footwear amazing and what so what's your favorite your personal favorite then um, um you know i suppose you know yeah i mean a apple leather um is amazing you know it, you know I mean, i'd say apple as well it's, it's softer and it's more like yeah leather. yeah it's more supple i mean there's grape leather out there i mean there's cactus leather coming out i mean we haven't actually um sampled with us as yet but you know there's so many things that we can do uh you know pinatex is great it's sort of got um you know this you can get this metallic feel uh, there's sort of glitter, which I love anything glittery and shiny, uh, which is made out of recycled materials. Um, and, you know, there's uh, soles, which are made out of algae and all sorts of different things. So it, it's really uh, amazing, interesting place out there now for material innovation. That's so great. So not only are you then doing this, but you're also a mama of two lovely little girls. I am. Yeah, uh, who, you told me are 11 and 9, huh? Yes, yes. They're still alive, you know, after this year of being locked up with me. <laughs> You're still alive. You're still alive and so are they. <laughs> yeah. So I have two daughters um, and they've been vegan from birth, you know, so okay. which I'm really, really proud of. I mean, they're healthy, they're strong, they're active. Um, and I think, uh, you know, for me, veganism isn't just about footwear etc it's a whole lifestyle for us yeah. really um so we encompass it with everything that we do and um yeah you know that they they sort of whinge at me sometimes because they can't have that sweet or cake at a party but you know i think they're fine you know they they understand where we're coming from you know in regards to our whole lifestyle um and uh, yeah they're great yeah mm. amazing amazing and i think it is getting easier because there are more and more options and i think people are becoming more understanding yeah yeah you know, i've been to parties and i've never expected it and people have just said oh far that's your little corner yeah of the buffet with some vegan food and i, yeah, I just think it's so sweet and yeah i think it is becoming more normal yeah as opposed to just that fussy one over there and yeah, yeah. I mean, are you, I always used to get asked, you know, are you vegan? I'm like, oh my God, you don't look like a vegan. I'd say, well, what, what should I look like? You know? Yeah. So <laughs> I know, like you're wasting away and flicking around a piece of lettuce on your... Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, you know, the perception is is um, becoming a lot more positive, which is great. Um, you know, obviously you, you you always get, you know, the ones that will always have a go, but, but it's fine, you know? Um, but I think it's, you know, especially veganism, sustainable fashion, it's all growing you know it's rocketing up it's all in the part market. of it yeah not wasting yeah i mean if there's you know anything positive to come out of co corona is people you know have had time to sit down to reflect to think consciously about the decisions they're making where are things coming from you know um is there sort of purpose behind brands because that's very much what we are a brand with purpose trying to make a difference of what we're doing and i think you know it's, these are some of the positive things that have come out of it um and i think within the uk and you can look at the industry there's so so much um, investment. There's so many brands out there in regards to food technology coming out. Mm. You know, they're growing, they're growing meat in laboratories, and um, you know, an alternative. Unbelievable! Stuff. The, yeah. the recent news, I say, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So, yeah. I think, yeah, I think more and more people, and and the UK has done actually really well. I mean, a few years ago they released that Oxford study, and the most amazing thing for me out of that was that in five years of doing the study. 
which was not on veganism. It was to try and find a sustainable way of farming. Mm. Every single researcher had gone vegan. Yes. Two years yes. into the project because they just realized there is no sustainable way of, yeah. of animal farming. That's it. There's just, yeah. you know, regardless of the ethics behind it. Yeah. Um, yes. And yes. Yes. So, I mean, it's amazing what's happening out there in regards to um, growing cultured meat or um, looking at the alternatives that are out there. Um, you know, these days in um, the UK, you walk into any supermarket and there's just a plethora of vegan and, ve you know, and vegetarian sort of options out there. So there's really no excuse for saying veganism is hard. And I yeah, think you know, the January has done amazing things for veganism in regards to trying to, you know, get people just to try it really, you know, mm. and, um, and yeah, it, it's simple. And um, it, you can look on the market now about how many sort of, you know, home boxes and cook boxes and vegan plant, plant-based, if you want to call it vegan food, you can get delivered to your door. Every restaurant has something on their menu. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. It's so, it's so simple. There's it's cookbooks really, really out simple. there like mine that was just released this week. Oh, yes. <laughs> do tell us, do tell us. Uh, I think, well, hopefully you all know if you're watching this. So yes, don't forget to have a have a look through my Cook Vegan book, 40 Delicious Recipes that's come out. So, and all the money's going and supporting a good cause. So yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's true. My mother lives in the UK and bless her, she keeps sending me chocolates as if I'm like chocolate deprived here. Yeah. But, um, but to be honest, we do have some really good options now and vegan options on Cyprus, oh, I'd say in the last couple of years have really, really got so much better. We used to not be so, so great. But still, she told me like in any supermarket in England, there's a whole area of like vegan chocolate. Yeah. And chocolates yeah. that we can't get here. And I was discussing with my kids the other day and I said, you know, there's a vegan Kit Kat now, vegan Bounty. And they were like, we want to try it. So my mum's on a mission. Oh, right, okay. That sends it over. <laughs> yeah. hasn't been released yet in the UK but uh oh, it hasn't oh, no okay. no yeah but on a downer there seems to be uh you know a thought behind the ethical practices behind um, Nestle etc so it's like oh god there definitely have... you know yeah. what there has and it well that's a whole other it is we won't get there <laughs> and also do you then buy vegan ham from a normal um, butchers you know or yeah. a factory that this is a big thing, but I will interject then and just close this topic with, I think supporting any, 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 any company, even if they're not fully vegan, even if their practices are not so ethical, just mm. supporting them and showing them that there is a demand for a healthier, yes. better product, rather than trying to close them down, because that's yeah. not the aim. And, you know, we're not supposed to be there with our pitchforks and making everybody hate us as vegans. We just want to show everyone that there is a better way. So same thing with you know vegan footwear they might be you yeah know, making their their leather things but if they do have a line then people can support that because you know we can't always find companies like yours that have this amazing ethical um yeah you know philosophy from the beginning but saying that if there are companies like yours and if there are vegan chocolates from an amazing brand like nomo or whoever else that yeah are, then of course that's always better so yeah <laughs> that was our little um, digression there. So uh, now we've got to go to cook vegan because we are cook vegan. So talk about a little bit about cooking. So you've got your two lovely little angels who they've been vegan from birth. Yes. What have you fed them? Give us uh, some, just some tips if someone, because this is why I started the group. People were asking, what do you feed your kids? Uh, so what's okay. your, what's your go-to? What are you, well, what are you they know, like eating? What would be your tips for people yeah. you know, to feed their kids? So we're, I mean, I, I grew up in Asia, I grew up in Singapore, so we are very much eat a lot of Asian food. Um, so the girls very much love sort of lots of lovely stir fries, you know. I think it's very easy these days to go out to a supermarket and buy lots of sort of processed food, you know. And we, you know, yes, I'm not saying we don't do it, we do, but I think we make sure that we're cooking lots of fresh ingredients we, and also to more so in summer rather than winter, I'm very, I tend to lean towards more of a raw diet because obviously eating raw foods the you know as they say the color of the rainbow every day um, mm -hmm. is important um so you know we have lots of chinese we have lots of stir fries i mean our two go to really simple things that you know vietnamese summer rolls so I simple so si i mean simple to make and the sweet chili sauce yeah and sushi as well um well you know 
and um and they and it's fun you know because we lay out all the ingredients on the table and the girls just love throwing in ingredients whether it's raw uh raw fruit uh i'm not fruit sorry veggies <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know vermicilli lots of herbs etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's fun and they sort of make it um and we all make it together at the table so that's a really really simple thing i mean they love avocado nuts mm -hmm. and seeds um you know we're not so much of the sort of uh, not to be rude here like the old stodgy lentil stew sort of thing you yeah. know uh we're yeah. more for sort of freshness i mean malaysian food is my absolute favorite um and my friend down the road luckily cooks amazing malaysian Asian food that I get every week from her but lots of sort of herbs and spices and taste and lemon and you know things that you can mm -hmm. put into the food uh, you know just to get the taste buds going really yeah um yeah yeah but Amazing. I must admit I'm sorry Farah I don't like cooking <laughs> ah, that's all right that is what cook vegan is all about actually <laughs> It is for people there's so many people who are like oh we'd love to eat more vegan food but we just yeah. we don't like being in the kitchen or we or we just don't have time or it's yeah. not a thing and then and that's what the cookbook that I've just released. Yeah. All bar, I think, one, which is still a simple recipe, but it's an Indian kind of potato. Okay. Patty, yeah. Um, yeah. Recipe. But that takes like, because you need to do the patties and then the sauce. Yeah. It's very simple, but it takes slightly longer. But everything else is like a stir fry, a noodle, a, a stew. A, it's all like chop, 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 and then in. Exactly. And whatever I can like put in one bowl or one pot or one thing. Mm. just cook it the quickest but still have that flavor you know that's that's whole point because we all love eating yeah we do so we necessarily do. <laughs> yeah exactly so, <laughs> so um i ask everyone this who's on cook vegan what's your go-to snack then what, what 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 would you what do you like snacking on when you're busy or working or what do you give to your kids that they enjoy snacking on yeah i mean sometimes it's just really simple vegan cream cheese with avocado on some crackers hummus with vegetables i mean i love nuts so uh one of my daughters scout she loves pistachio so she can munch on those all day um and I sort nuts. of yeah I'm and so, on that yeah and, and we yeah, and we, we sort of try to, I mean, I prefer baking to cooking. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so, you know, sometimes we bake some flapjacks, um, you know, lots of chia seeds and nuts and, you know, lovely oats and ingredients like that. So, we're, uh, you know, and the girls go, oh, God, Mom, do we have to have fruit and veggie again? Can't we have a <laughs> pack of crisps? And I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you'll appreciate me one day, you know, but, um, but I really try and keep it healthy and fresh um, and really simple, you know, yeah. and, uh, and, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, just go have a bowl of cereal, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the treat. That's like, yeah, My, mine yeah. rotate in the morning between, I think it's, um, well, they have their pancakes, which we right. love. Um, so their banana pancakes, their oats meal which I don't know why but their porridge for some reason they, they haven't been leaning towards the last um, few weeks and then um toast it might be a peanut butter sandwich or whatever yeah. or um yeah cereal cereal I'm like yeah. after four days easy yeah. not the healthiest but go for it yeah I mean, we also have, because we grew up in Asia, you can get, you know, those Chinese rice steam buns and you can have veggies in them and sort of nice. vegan, vegan meat and things like that. So they sort of like that. And we might have yeah. Chinese, Chinese like rice porridge. Um, and in in England, you can get those just rolls where you can just cut up sort of pan chocolates and croissants and stick them in the oven and they're ready in 10 minutes. So Amazing. really, really simple stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, it's good. Uh, the simple is the best. The yes. simple is the best for sure. Yeah. So my um, final question to you and for all of those of you watching, don't forget to um, find Alicia and her company on um, her social media platforms and look up her really nice website as well. And we'll put the links in definitely into this. But Alicia, Moore, how would you, how do you rather see the world in 20 years time? 2041, how, how do you see? Yeah. yeah, I would hopefully, you know, hopefully everyone would be vegan, but I doubt it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Never know. You know what? The non-vegans might be in the minority by then. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think, you know, hopefully, you know, 
obviously with COVID times, etc., it's made people think a little bit more, you know, a little bit more conscious about what's happening in the world. And I think, you know, you know, with David Attenborough coming out there and, um, you know, Bill Gates coming out there with vegan and looking at the climate, etc. And it's not just about veganism, really, you know, I'm not a person to sort of hound it down, you know, but it's more about being conscious about what we're doing, make better, more considered choices in regards to people, planet and animals, we can sort of, you know, make our difference in regards to you know, reducing what we're doing to the climate. Um, and I think just being a more kind and compassionate world, you know, I think is is what I would hope to see it, uh, you know, in the future. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. I and you know, agree we, more. Beg your pardon? I couldn't agree more. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and I think hopefully, you know, and that's what and that's what I try to teach my kids, you know, um, you know, just think a little bit more consciously about what you're doing. These are the choices of why we make them be considerate looking long term. Um, and there's amazing things happening, you know, across fashion, climate, food. Um, so, yeah, it's all it's all very positive. Yeah, mm. you can only yeah. get better from here. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. We've got some um, amazing articles as well on sustainable fashion that will be coming out okay. in our online magazine of our hotel. So St. Raphael Resort. So for those of you watching, check that out. Great. Um, yeah. So just uh, just letting people know because not everybody thinks about it or no. yeah, and they yeah. often confuse veganism with just what we eat and it's yes. not the whole lifestyle. Yeah. 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 So it is, it is, it is a whole lifestyle choice for us. And, you know, it's not one to ram it down people's throats, but it's just about mm -hmm. thinking about why we make our decisions. There's a reason behind why we yeah. make it. And it's, yeah. you don't need to be vegan, but if you can reduce down, but look at all the other aspects of what you're doing in your life, um, then it, it's a positive thing. Yeah, definitely. And you don't yeah. need to throw everything you have. Like if somebody wants to buy, for example, one of your amazing shoes, yes. it doesn't mean they have to chuck out the other 20 pairs of shoes that they've bought you no. know at home in, yeah. their, in their wardrobe they should they should wear them they they should be you know proud of those and and actually wear them so you know to be sustainable and then just whatever they replace them with to go for you know less a more sustain yeah a more, more sustainable, sustainable and yeah. less cool yeah yeah, exactly. You know, and, and that's and that's the ethos behind our company, the designs about what we do. We're not trend led or well, we're trend led to a sense, but it, it's trans seasonal, really. They're yeah. comfortable, they're versatile, and that's what stylish, and that's what we but need. stylish to last. Yes, classes, exactly. Not, yeah. 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 So no, they're not gonna be bright yellow because yellow's in this year and then you have to yeah. chuck them out next year. But yeah, I mean yellow's great too. Yellow's great, yellow's great. <laughs> I feel like yellow, a bit of pink. Yeah, that's right. Definitely glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Anything shiny. Exactly. Um, I like a bit of glitter, so it's fine. Exactly. Well, who, who doesn't? Who doesn't? So International Women's Day is coming up on it Monday. Is. So this is. is perfect for that. Um, we're going to also put this um, lovely chat that we've had on our YouTube channel. So if Great. you are watching it on YouTube, please, please do subscribe to Cook Vegan. And um, as my daughter says, press that bell button so you get more of these videos. She's mine. You, rising YouTube star and cook vegan. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great weekend, Alicia. No, thank you, Farah, for having me. And, thank and you. It's been well done with everything you're doing as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, so much fun. So many things going on. We're looking forward to reopening the hotel at some point this spring. We don't know when, but yes. Um, and hopefully well, our vegan restaurant It's the first vegan restaurant in any hotel or in any beach in Cyprus. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, I didn't realize. Is, yeah, so that's that's already, I mean, been working for the last few years, but wow. it's closed in winter and it's been yes. closed anyway now with the pandemic. Yes. I hope, hope, hope beach season. I mean, you can see it's so lovely here in Cyprus. yes so i hope come april latest may that will be reopened as well oh so my gosh i'll have to come them. you've <laughs> got to come we have amazing yeah. amazing vegan food Great. And actually all, all our restaurants in our hotel are vegan friendly okay we've got vegan options even on room service menu and we're the only hotel in cyprus to be featured on vegan welcome which is um a platform basically helping um anyone looking for vegan or even plant-based food yes to know where to go in the world and where the only okay. one in Cyprus on that oh fabulous well congratulations that's yeah, amazing thanks. to hear yeah great
<laughs> thank you, thank you. So lots going on. So um, again, guys, don't forget, do, do please support my new um, book that's out. It is an electronic copy and soon it's going to be available by Amazon in printed version. So watch this space. Do check out www.cook-vegan.com and don't forget to look up, so I'll say it right this time, Bo Boheme. Bebo but that's okay. Yeah. You know what? Because <laughs> from when I read it in my head, it just went in, and now I've just christened it. Back. It's so, fine. Don't worry. In this time, I'm still going to be <laughs> Bebo M. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you Thanks, so much. Bye from London. Take Bye care. Bye. Take care. Bye. All. Bye.